I'm like 27. I, I'm, I'm done with ball. And they was like, man, just come work with us and see what you think. So we walk in this gym, all of these kids, like they grab the mic, man, and, you know, they start sharing their story. And I'm like, dog, that's what I want to do. Yeah. And I knew then, bro, that's what I wanted to do. So I even bugged the hell out of Derek. Yeah. Derek, like, how you called me? Yeah. Bro, I just be like, Derek, what you think about this? Man, I created this program. Yeah. Man, let me see it. Man, quick, dude, all right, just meet me for breakfast, yeah. man. Bro, I would sit there, and I just take notes while he would be talking. And I just started working the process. <laughs> Somebody gonna think I'm weak, or somebody gonna think I'm I'm this because that's just what's been the stigma for so long. Like, like how do we? I feel like how do you actually break that though? Like how do you get to a point where it's not like that? Man, I think really, man, it's a process of discovering parts of yourself because it's almost like you discover the self awareness part, but then it's discovering the the self-acceptance part that on one end, I mm. know that I still have my moments. Exactly. But being able to accept that it's okay to have my moments as I'm still on my journey. Yeah. That's, that's hard, man, because I know there's days where, bro, I literally can't get out of bed. Yeah. And I got the room dark, and it's dark intentionally. Right. Because I'm in a space, and I'm in this this, this move to where I don't feel like doing anything. And I know what it is. It's a state right. of depression. Exactly. And I think if somebody knew that, dang, Jay? Right. Don't want to get out of bed? Mm. Because it's this misconception that as we are discovering and as we are on our own individual journey of healing, it's like we've arrived. And that's why I always say healing is a journey, man. Like every day you're working toward healing because there are there there are going to be days where you don't want to do nothing, man, and yeah. you're not motivated. Exactly. Especially us being athletes, I think man. even from the working out aspect mm -hmm. is <laughs> the, the the that that grind every day. <laughs> yeah, bro. Hey, it was so funny, man. I was talking to to D Mount, man, about like one of his situations. He was just like, man, I was working out, or I was about to go work out. He walked in the gym and walked right back oh, out. Bro, Went back home, bro. <laughs> Bro, when I tell you I've had so many of them moments, no. man, I was living in Atlanta, and I just moved to the A, and I was in this transition phase in life, and it was, and if you know anything about transition, it's very unstable mm -hmm. because you haven't created a new regime, right? So you're trying to find rhythm, yeah. and I couldn't find rhythm, dude. And then it was a winter. I moved in the winter months. So you know, winter months already depressing. You already I'm dealing. Telling you. you already dealing with seasonal depression. Yeah. I'm away from my family. I'm I'm trying to create this new normal, bro. I literally I have to laugh at myself. I walked in the gym, bro. Got on the stairmaster for two minutes, and I was like, man, I'm done with this shit. Yeah. And I went and got breakfast. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It be it be it be like it's crazy, man. It it really it actually be like that sometimes, man. Because people, like you was talking about. I seen one of your one of your speeches, or you was talking to, to to your high school, and you was talking about social media. But if you look at social media, it paints the picture like, man, these dudes they grinding each and every day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's okay to accept some type of failure. It's okay to be like, man, you know what? That's I, I, wa I wasn't good. feeling it today. Because the world has not made it okay to fail. Exactly. Man, that's, that's deep, man. <laughs> don't necessarily make it okay to fail now you got like the kids the generation coming up they feel like they have to be perfect you know to this t or if they see a woman um see their body see see things that they're doing they feel like man if they're not 
looking like that, then they're not, you know, beautiful within themselves. Yeah. And, that, and that's and that's the problem. I catch myself like looking at you know different pictures, and I'm like, yo, I need I need to, you know what I'm saying? I need to go back in the gym, <laughs> you know, just just off of what I'm looking at, and think about how a child looks at that. Exactly. Now, I'm a grown up, you know what I mean? Exactly. And I think too, man, for the space that social media has created, man, it's so unhealthy in so many ways. Even studies that I've done uh, when I was in grad school about social media and mental health, right? Anxiety has increased, depression, suicide. I mean, mm. you think about the increase of individuals who are on antidepressants, the yeah. individuals who are on uh, ADHD medication, mm. ADHD medication, mm. because everything is centered around yeah. this perfect image. Right. Right? I'm depressed because I've been following somebody who started a fitness journey in January, and they're on stage doing a competition in March with 5% body fat. Yeah. I've been working out for two years. And it's just like, dude. It's an ongoing process. It's a, it's a, like, for one, w when you look at fitness or whatever, everything is based on when this person started a journey. But like you said, they don't show the process. Right. They show the result. Yeah. Yeah, right? Man. Like, you don't see people working out, eating five or six meals. You don't see people writing their reports, nope. studying their homework. Nope. You don't see people taking these losses. Exactly. You don't see them taking a loss because I'm like, truth be told, people taking the L's on social yeah. media, bro. Yeah, bro. They just ain't showing you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's what, and that's where the success part comes in. I was talking about this on Twitter the other day. You know, I said success is a mindset, not a destination. That's and then good. I also said that, like, true success is like what you go through, like along the way. That's what breeds your success. So your failures, your trials, your tribulations. All of that, that is built in your success. It is. It is, and man. They think, oh, I'm just gonna lose weight and you know not have any trials, not have any days where I'm not gonna feel feel like getting up or doing it. Yeah. You gonna have those like, you days. You gonna have days where I have them, where we all I want do. a cookie. We all do. Yeah. And I'm gonna eat this cookie, <laughs> and I'm not gonna feel bad. And yeah. I'm not gonna allow you to make me feel bad. Exactly. That this cheat day that I decided to take on Tuesday <laughs> yeah. rather than Saturday, <laughs> that I'm not on my way to my goal. Yeah, like, it's absurd. That's a, that's a lot of us, man. These societal messages, man, is really, it is really breaking down the emotional state of yeah. individuals, man, to the point yeah. where people are crippled. Thank you.